The Federal Reserve has mentioned that there would likely be three rate cuts this year, right? And the market started to push up last night. We have a Dow Jones up by more than 400 points, Nasdaq up by more than 200 points, all about one over percent up, right? So how are the Singapore banks looking right now? Are they seeing some signs of strength? Where could selling actually come back again? Hey guys, Joey here, talk to your trade out in Philip Securities. And in this video, I'll be diving into the three Singapore local banks, DBS, OCBC, and UOB. I do like one of them much, much more. So make sure you stay all the way to the end and watch this video so that you can know, you know which do I like more, why do I like it, and what are some of the targets that has been revised higher as well, right? So watch this video, all right? And if you like this video, guys, go ahead and give me a like, smash the subscribe button as well, hit the follow button so that you will not miss out on videos like this. So we dive into the charts, all right? Maybe we look at the system that I have to see what it says we did had a couple of uh, bullish signals that came out as well there could be more upside due to these signals let's see how it looks again and I'll do a quick analysis to see what you can potentially do all right so let's take a look at DBS right now okay so this is DBS at about $35.69 so before I dive into where we are you know just last month I covered this stock and I mentioned that you know we had this very key resistance level whereby we want to really breach it and it seems like we have rebreached this resistance level over the past few days and that could be a good thing i'll come to that in a bit what are some of the upside targets that can be reiterated right but you can see that you know since last year for dbs right we have formed what we call higher lows right that is a sign of the uptrend forming gradually you can see since i would say december i would say july right july 2022 we were somewhere around that 30 dollars 29 dollars the support became a little bit higher it became a little bit higher so the support has been getting higher i would say over the past one and a half to two years right over here you can see right and we can also draw this upwards sloping all right channel support line pretty much connecting the low so there's a sign of strength of the uptrend in the longer term right of course in the short term we did see some kinds of uh, volatility as well pushing up to maybe about 36 coming back down pushing up down all right so it was pretty much just consolidating while forming a general longer term uptrend right so it was kept below this very key resistance level that i talked about over the past like you know one year and this level would be the 30 four dollars and fifty cents look at this right here touch it came down went back up retested came back down went back up came back down again so a couple of times i would say last year july august september we just couldn't get above that thirty four dollars and fifty cents in fact just last month right in february as well we kind of like neared it and we sold back down again so that thirty four dollars and fifty cents is a pretty key resistance level that we want to really break above it right for more upside to happen if not we can just hit to there and we can come back down again right so over the past like one two weeks we did see some signs of the short term trend turning up right in fact just look at this right somewhere around like early of february 2024 right we started to see a bit of a rebound over here it was pretty much consolidating let me just draw this line for you right here it was like you know consolidating right over here below this like $32 and 30 cents up and down so it's kind of like sold down uh you know consolidated a while for like about two tricks and finally right went above that $32 and 30 cents and this green line this green line with what we call the 20 days moving average it started to slope up so that's a good sign of uh you know the strength coming back in the short term as well especially we broke above that resistance at $32.30 started to push up consolidated a bit and finally guys as I mentioned we have broke this $34.50 right where we have consolidated below I would say for more than a year maybe about a year we have been below it now we are above this resistance that's where there could be more upside so let me go ahead to turn this resistance level the 3450 is a red line because it was a resistance but now we can turn it into what we call a support level right so over the past few days right we managed to break above that 3450 so let me uh, go ahead to draw some upside targets right over here from 3450 maybe all the way to like 36 i think 36 there might be a little bit of resistance i'll come to that in a bit but maybe all the way up to that 30 seven dollars right why 37 well you can see guys that 37 dollars was pretty much where we were just about two years back right just before we had the rate hikes and inflationary pressures and the market started to sell down in the u.s and even the singapore market uh that was where we were about two years back uh before selling down so as we approach that resistance level uh that is where potentially some 
selling can come back again it could be like near 37 it could be 36 and 90 cents 36 and 80 cents 70 cents as we approach that that is where some selling so you could take some profit near there i mean that's where we might consolidate a little bit before maybe attempting to break it and pushing higher but no one knows uh, whether it can just break easily or it might take like you know a month or two to consolidate before it, below it before breaking it so you can take some partial profits because that's where we have seen selling previously about two years back all right so you can see right now that as we broke that 34 50 resistance right the green like this 20 days moving average line you can see is still pointing up so there is still some short-term strength right in terms of this short-term trend indicator this is what we call the 20 days moving average it looks quite good all right so uh write it all the way to like 37 maybe as i mentioned a bit of resistance at 36 because 36 previously last year somewhere around like february same thing we kind of like nearly it came back down over here as well in april two years back uh, same thing we hit it it came back down all right so about 36 we break that good we might hit towards that 37 dollars level all right so this is dbs not too bad upside targets we have in fact covered this our clients were alerted to it as well uh upside targets can be revised all the way up to maybe about 37 36 uh, that's where you could lock in some profits so let's take a look at what dbs looks like on my one gt system what is this system about well it is a web-based software that alerts us on winners and also guides us on entry and exit so we have found a little bit more on this system or the entire strategy behind the system you can attend all those free uh, webinars that i'm still running i'll just place the link below this video click on it register for it it's about two hours long it's an online webinar and i'll share with you a little bit more all right so here's dbs right here you can see that we are uh, same thing as push up a little bit so i'll not go too far but this system kind of like comes up with bearish and even bullish signals to guide us so you can see for dbs uh, in fact since like uh, november last year we, we got a bearish signal it was like selling down a little bit it went from like 33 all the way down to like 31 plus got an exit and then we got a bullish signal went back up another bearish signal came back down so you can see that this signals kind of like guide us on when to get out as well especially if you see a bearish signal right at the top after rising for a while all right you might want to get out as well right so you can see that somewhere around yeah so we got a second fab this year we got an exit from this bearish signal a few days later we got a bullish right so this is a green arrow pointing up so that's a good thing it's a bullish entry signal blah, blah, blah. went up got an exit and let's take a look at dbs so you can see that somewhere i would say around uh, 13 of march to be exact right 13 of march as it was just consolidating sideways uh, we got this bullish one gt entry signal you can see that was like one two three four five six days back all right and it started to just pop up and went up and of course uh, you know it seems like we are pushing even higher so there are still no exits exits would mean like this white arrow pointing down if we do see an exit that means that there's some selling pressure of profit taking coming back we might want to take some profit as well so yeah we, we can push up a little bit more maybe to 36 37 as i mentioned if we do see an exit signal maybe even a bearish uh, signal like maybe this signal right here then you want to be careful that could you know that could be where some heavy selling can come back again Okay, let's move on to OCBC, right? And guys, if you like this video so far, you got some value, go ahead to give me a like, smash the subscribe button, the follow button so that you will not miss out on any videos like this and it will definitely help out the channel as well. Thank you so much for doing that, all right? So here's OCBC, guys. And by the way, right, if you were to get like ideas like this, in fact, you know, some of my clients in Philip Securities, in case you're not yet a client of mine in Philip Securities, uh, we do share ideas like this, not just on the banks, but on other stocks as well, uh, whereby there could be some upside potential uh, it's live it's sent out by whatsapp daily whenever we spot any opportunities right so if you want to get some of these ideas for free all right faster daily by whatsapp right make sure you come on board as a client of mine in philip securities uh I, i'm not too sure where you're trading but if you are trading online on your own you, you you don't really have a broker to service you you don't get any service no ideas no video no whatsapp no training no idea who your broker is, even is it's just like a hotline or what uh, make sure you do come aboard as a client my in philip securities you do not pay anything more it's pretty much the same as whatever you're paying when you're trading all right and you get some you know special exclusive services from me and my team all right so let's dive into you ocbc right now one of the stocks that i like in fact since last month all right we have covered this stock and i mentioned about this very critical resistance level all right this level would be the 13 dollars and 50 cents right 13 50 look at this right here we touch it about two years back all right came all the way down uh same thing we approach it came back down somewhere in august last year we neared it came back down in fact just last month february we touch it came back down so about four or five times we just couldn't get above that 13 dollars and 50 cents in fact last month i did a video on the banks as well you can check it out around my youtube channel and i mentioned that if this 13 dollars and 50 cents were to give way all right because we are in an uptrend already all right 
that is potentially where there could be more upside momentum fast all right because we are already in an uptrend of course if we are in a downtrend and it breaks then maybe not so good but because we are already in an uptrend we have tested many times we couldn't get above it and finally if the sellers were to give way and bias comes back and take out all the sellers it's like pretty much free to go it's like an expressway from like a small route to an expressway does it make sense right so seems like that is happening right now we are at 13 dollars and 66 cents i mean which is above 13 dollars and 50 cents all right and what do i mean mentioned by i mean uptrend right well, i always say that you know since uh i would say last year in fact last last year two years back we have been in pretty much in a very general longer term uptrend even better than dbs in fact this is one of my i would say favorite banks for now all right the fact that it has broken above this key level and the uptrend has been forming much much more firmly over the past one or two years because we have been forming higher lows right same thing higher lows all right in this case it's a bit more pronounced right we can draw this upward <coughs> sloping channel support line right over here you can see right over here connecting the lows right so that was a bit like about 2021 to 2022 higher lows look at this rebound 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 right over here all right rebound same thing somewhere in december rebounded so very strong longer term uptrend but ultimately as I mentioned even though it's an uptrend we were still kept below 1350 and we want definitely want to break above that level to see more strength all right so it's happening right now so what could be the upside targets where could we potentially head to where some selling can come back again well i would say that you know because it's an all-time high if you look at like uh the past so yeah i would say somewhere around here it's pretty much an all-time high right so somewhere around here in 2018 that would be around that 14 dollars you can see this would be the past around 14 dollars all right and so that could potentially be the first the near-term upside targets right over here so we can draw a line right over here maybe about 14 dollars based on the historical prices in 2018 right but the key is that over the past like you know few months we have found a consolidation right it seems like it is always consolidating right over here around that one dollar range you can see right over here it's about a one dollar range same thing it rebounded it's about a one dollar range as well over here it's a one dollar range so each time it rebounds all right we are seeing a consolidation range of about one dollar same thing over here you can see when it broke the resistance it went up by about one dollar so after fourteen dollars right potentially uh, that would be the near-term resistance but after fourteen dollars uh, we may even head towards that fourteen fifty all right so thirteen fifty plus one dollar that would be like fourteen dollars and fifty so that could be kind of like you know the near-term target from fourteen to fourteen fifty i would say that as long as we stay above this thirteen dollars and fifty cents let me just change this resistance as i mentioned right for two years we're below it now uh, we have broken above it that would be like a new support level so let me just change this to green in color yes you can see right over here so that would be like a new support level as long as we stay above it great all right that is where uh the next phase of the uptrend can continue all right for ocbc it has already been an uptrend but now the uptrend can continue even higher all right next bank finally uob right uob right here trading at about 29 dollars and 28 cents so it seems like all the banks right over the past like one two days they are starting to push higher we are seeing strength in the market as well sti has rebounded all right and where could selling actually come back for uob well for uob you can see that you no know, i did a video last month as well for the banks and i talked about this support level whereby potentially uh you could come like you know enter on deep sorry because that's where we are seeing some bargain hunting you know buyers have came back there over the past like three months and it's rebounded many times in fact we saw a couple of uh, bullish candles right you can see quite a bullish candle all right something like a spinning top over here as well uh buyers coming out and taking back up above that $27.80 so a couple of uh, bullish candles right there you know buyers are just coming back to push it back up so you've got in here all right this is what we call a hot zone or an area of value right over here because that was pretty much uh the resistance level right about 2780 you can see 28 uh, we were pretty much consolidating below it until finally breaking it and you see so up down up down finally we broke it somewhere at the beginning of the year and we are consolidating higher above that 27.80 to 28 dollars right so good if you got in great all right uh, we are starting to see a bit of a rebound right now so where could be some selling uh, coming back again well i would say upside targets let me just reiterate again all the way up to maybe around that thirty dollars to thirty dollars and twenty cents i think somewhere around here i would say maybe 29.50 you can expect a bit of selling as well okay let me go to draw this resistance level right over here all right 29 dollars and i would say 
50 cents. Why? Okay, look at this, right? So you can see that we are approaching. Now it's 29.27. So you can see somewhere around 29.50. Same thing just about last month. We, we hit it there and just sold all the way back down. And now we are coming back up again. All right. So somewhere around here as well, over here as well. Last year, August, September, we neared 29.50 and sold back down. So yeah, hopefully we can you know get above that 29.50. Good if we can do that. Uh, then heading towards this next resistance, all right, at about $30.20, right over here, right over here. That could potentially be where some selling can come back again. So it looks quite good. I'll say in the short term, we are already seeing a rebound. We are slowly approaching this selling areas or zones. So you can also think about locking in some partial profits, especially if you see like a bearish uh, candlestick coming out like you know over here can you see that when we hit it <clears throat> towards that uh 29.50 because this bearish candle pump it went back down same thing over here went up to near 29.50 we got a bearish candle push away went below the low of this the first day and it started to sell down so as we see like if, if you can you know take a look at some of the bearish candles if it happened near that 29.50 or maybe in 30 dollars to 30.20 that's where you could take some profit to get out first because we might see some short-term weakness and it might start to retrace back down again. All right, that's it, guys. I've covered the three Singapore local banks, DBS, OCBC, and UOB. So right now, I do like uh, OCBC Bank a little bit more, as I mentioned, because it has broken a very key level that we have traded below for more than two years, right? And it has a pretty strong uptrend, I would say, since one, two years back compared to like DBS and even UOB, right? So not too bad. Anything above that $13.50 new higher support level, it looks pretty good, right? So yeah, if you want to have ideas like this, as I mentioned, guys, if you want to have ideas like this on a daily basis, buy WhatsApp. So we have alerted our clients, our VIP clients in Philip Securities to not just the banks to ideas like this, but also other stocks as well. And if you want to have ideas like this uh, much faster, buy WhatsApp live as it happens, right? Click on the link below, find out how you can become a client of mine in Philip Securities for free. You need to have a trading account under me and that's some of the services we provide to our clients, right? Especially if you are trading online on your own in the Singapore market and you don't have anyone to assist you, you're just logging in on your own DIY, uh, nobody bothers about you, no training, no WhatsApp, no ideas, you know, make sure you come on board as a client of mine in Philip Securities, the link is right below, all right? And if you want to dive into like the strategy a little bit more right in terms of i mean i don't have time to explain to you the entire strategy but even dive into this strategy a little bit more what we actually look out for step by step the entire framework uh, we have this webinar that we're still running called one good trend uh, workshop all right it's an online zoom webinar the link is right below click on it attend all those free two hours webinar where i share with you guys in a nutshell the entire strategy before even sharing with you guys the system i think i've shared with you guys the system for like uh, dbs right so how a system can help you as well takes the emotions out of uh, you know trading and also guide you not just about getting in but also about getting out as well especially if you see an exit or maybe even a bearish signal all right so i hope that makes sense all right so joey here thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video i'll see you in the next video take care